We are live. Let me refresh this thing. Nothing yet. Nothing yet on YouTube. They're a little late. They're a little delayed. And looks like we are good. Can you yep. hear us? Can you see us? Let me see who's here in the chat before we get started. Let's see. Branson Fines, Hustling 21-7, Demand Mr. Information in Hand, Sobora, Swoopman, Alex, William Perry, One Kick Finder, Jimmy, Manny Fresh, Mr. Mormo, Josh Brown, Stealthy Fines, Price Assassins, Eddie, True Win, Resell Freak, and Dominic, Dapper Fanatic, Big Money Mo, uh, Richard, uh, MC Incorporated, Josh Hoover, uh, District Deals, The Plug, Spicy Kicks, Crew Kicks, Ecom Lifestyle, Brian, Austin, Edgar's Finds, uh, Womb Boeing, Petty Deals, uh, Pags, Oh, Hustle and Muscle, uh, Mimi Tell, and Felicia, Darren, and Crispy, Bitar, Gucci, and uh, Velo, and Sticker Finds 12. More people coming in. And uh, Mercurial Venom, I don't know where you're at. I owe you money and I can't find your... I tried going through uh, to find your, your account, whatever, to send the money to. And I don't know where it is. And also and there's another one, Phil. I can't get a hold of you. Those are the two, only two I need to send money to. Other than that, I'm caught up. Who, who? Phil Collins or Phil Jackson? Uh, Phil Jackson, for sure. Phil Jackson, yeah, he's... The Zen Master. Yeah, the Zen Master. All right, we're going to start off. Speaking of Lakers, we are starting off with Courtside Karen. <laughs> <laughs> Did you watch this? Yeah, the 25-year-old? Yeah, right. <laughs> she said she's 25. Oh, no, no, exactly. That's, yeah, we, you can see straight through that. Let me see what, <laughs> I don't know what everybody says in the chat. Yeah, heckling LeBron. Yeah. I, he's had, I mean, he gets heckled every game. Right, but, man, you can't be a pro. You can't be called pro if you let that affect you. Yeah, true. I don't know about you, you know. Michael Jordan never said anything to the crowd. <laughs> you just shut him up, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, well, Karens are running wild. I mean, they yeah. have been running wild for the last two, three years. But this one, they had to stop a whole game yeah. just for this. And uh, let me see, laughing, Josh. Um, let's see, Hustle and Silence got an LBJ jersey. Oh, nice. Um, let me see. Didn't even see like a big deal. Who kicks? I know. Actually, yeah, it was. I thought it was bad, you know, but it it was a really. I mean, it escalated because LeBron paid attention to him, <laughs> right? Like if if LeBron ignored it, I mean, nothing would have happened. Uh, Kobe Goat says that was my Thea. <laughs> 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 Sharon is Karen from Leo. Uh, let's see. All right, next. So, B, what did you think about the first hands-free model? I think you go fly ease. You know what? My my wife my wife was the first one that said, like, babe, like they finally made a shoe that you would buy. <laughs> you know, because, uh, it was actually it's it's smart, uh, but it you know kind of like have the house slipper kind of a. Uh, uh, you know, for Filipinos, you gotta wear house slippers around the home. So <laughs> I think this would fit well for all Filipinos or Asians. Uh, <laughs> but I wish, I guess they had to make it colorful because it's the the new release or something like that. But I did see an olive colorway though. Oh, okay. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. It is something I would, I would definitely have in my collection. <laughs> I mean, like daily daily driver shoe. What was they? What was the retail on this? I don't know. I don't even think they've said anything yet. Oh, okay. 
cop this one, smash this one. I think I'm not a fan of the colorway. Josh Hoover, I'll be copying yeah. at Burlington. <laughs> I think the colorway just kind of like if it's more black, it's more like a utility shoe, right? Like this one looks like a they make it look like a running shoe. Yeah. So that's why like you're torn because like it's not really performance shoe. You know, it's more of like a sandals or something like that, right? Like <laughs> the did you see that because Nike released the house slippers, right? The slip on. Yeah. So I think I think just the colorway just throws me off. Yeah. Uh, but I think it's a cool uh girl colorway, you know. <laughs> Someone said two resale freak said two hundred bucks, other people said that it was one twenty. Um I don't know what the res uh, I guess what the let me see what uh, they, I'm trying to see what they are. 120 probably 200 they're smoking something <laughs> you're pushing it at 200 yeah can't even oh know. yeah it's 100 it's 120 dollars they can't and... even sell the bronze for for 200 <laughs> yeah. uh, hustle and silence is definitely asian household shoe yeah yeah <laughs> I might need them. I'm getting old. William Perry. I'll get the grocery out of the car shoes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. or like throw the trash away, right? Like, let yeah. me go and take the trash out. Yeah, <laughs> that's definitely what it is. Throw these bad boys on. Um, all right, other news. We saw some pushbacks on some of the new releases. The Jordan 1 for women's silver toe. And they're now coming out February 19th. It was only like a week difference. Yeah. The University Blue, a.k.a. UNC, Jordan 4, pushed back a whole month. I think, yeah, originally set March 30th, now April 28th. Uh, uh, any comments on these in the chat? That That is crazy. I mean, especially, well, you, let's talk about the other uh, shoe that got pushed back. I think that's why it's either the shoe that was supposed to be released sooner than this one didn't get in. That's why they couldn't release it at the same day. You know, because, like, the Jordan uh, 4 Hope hasn't even released yet but it was supposed to release what a week or two weeks ago yeah so it hasn't released out yet so i think it's just like kind of like cutting it too close because like it would probably they probably re release it this week or next week and then it would be the same release as the jordan one so uh, i i think that's what it is so um they're just kind of like pushing things back and kind of like realigning everything i don't know they probably have some metrics on when the most people get paid or something like that you know, <laughs> <laughs> I think they were trying to also because, like, with car mines, I think try to get closer to like I tax, don't know, season. tax, tax season. season and like Valentine's Day has like a little red and white in there. Like, I think kind of like trying to go with like a little seasonal type of thing. So, I don't know. Yeah, it makes they sense. know what they're doing though. I mean, I, I like the silver toe though, but I wish it's like the, the typical Jordan 1 toe box. Because I'm looking at this photo, it might be the boxy toe box like they did with um, the women's Jordan ones. You uh, know, how it's like it's not more like you know tapered. What? Uh, we'll see. <laughs> uh, let me see what the chat says. Cop the fours. I need the fours. I need the fours. Tax season fours. Refund fours. Uh, stimulus check release. So <laughs> push everything back until the next stimulus pass. <laughs> <laughs> the next one. That kind of makes sense. Let me get this. I, I wanted to show you. Uh, let me get this. Share screen. Uh, this one also came out. Not this color. But what did you think about the Cosmic Unity? Oh, it's a basketball shoe, right? A basketball shoe, yeah. yeah. So the Space Hippie basketball shoe. I thought they were pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I, think I think this color is dope cool. than the other one. I, that color is cool. Uh, yeah. It kind of has like some Giannis kind of like, you know, design to the back and some Kyrie on the front. You know, kind of yeah. like that midsole, like the Kyrie 6. I think it's cool. I think finally it's something that they've used the recycled material. I mean, well executed shoe. Yeah. I mean, I love the different textures. You yeah, got the exactly. Netting and then the, and the back heel. Uh, you know, we definitely have to try this on. <laughs> when it's at Ross or when it's in the outlet? Oh, I try at the outlet. Next thing you know, this is like stiff. Oh, <laughs> man, everybody hurt our, our feet. Uh, but, let me see. It looks like uh, oh, Iverson vibe, says Miles and Mr. Eric. Oh, uh, right. I mean, the yeah, round thing. Yeah, Reebok question. True. Uh, it does kind of have 
kind of like that feel. Probably because like these, you know, like these bubble looking things here. We got um, a Spider Man vibe though. A Spider Man. Red, yeah, red color it would be Spider Man right there. Yeah, so I don't know. I think I guess we'll see when when these uh, albums come out. Cool. Like the back heel reminds me of Kyrie, like the bubble or like the. Oh yeah, top. with the Illuminati um, eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kyrie. <laughs> All right, let me go back. Where we okay? Where were we? Okay, here we go. All right. Uh, we also got a first look on the classic green Dunk Lows. Of course, a hundred dollars. Spring twenty twenty one. I don't think they had a date yet. Uh, but what are your thoughts on this one? Very Celtics like. Yeah. We have a lot of green like Jordan ones and Dunk. Now this Dunk too. I think there's kind of too much green going on, but. Yeah, because, like, I mean, way back, right, before the pine green, it would have been, like, the only the uh, Celtic ones, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden, like, there's pine green, pine green 2.0, and now <laughs> I paired over to SB. Uh, I mean, you know, if you like green, I think it's a cool color, right? Uh, but, man, I just can't do the tongue for dunks, man. I don't care how hype it gets. <laughs> that, that pillow looking, you know. Oh, Square tongue. pillow looking on your tongue. Just to this will probably be like a St. Patrick's Day release probably. or something like around that yeah. time. Spring, yeah. uh, low key, kind of hard. I mean, these, yeah, we know this is resale value is going to be, yeah, it's clean no I matter mean, what. It's, so it's like it's uh, you know, it's kind of like the black toast, uh, you know, uh, rendition of it. So uh, I mean, it's uh, it, it'll sell out for sure, yeah. All right. Uh, how are your sales? Everybody in the chat, good, bad, one platform working better than the other. Uh, the thing I'm going to throw in, so Go has been doing very well. But on the opposite side, did anybody get an email from StockX telling them about taxes? <laughs> oh, I got a blame. stupid email yesterday, and they're like, hey, we need fill out this W-9 and TIN number or whatever else, and I'm like, come on, man. Like, PayPal already give me a 1099. That's it. I don't want any more any more tax things coming in. All right. But StockX is pushing it right now. Yeah. I mean, uh, as far as sales, I mean, we just got done with uh, January. So uh, it's the best January I've ever had so far. Uh, but uh, February is not looking too hot. I did really go. I re did really good on the first day. February 1st, and then yesterday was half, and then now it's half again. <laughs> <laughs> it's dwindling down. So, I mean, you could, I mean, you know, probably it's that off week people didn't get paid, or there's just, you know, they probably shopped the other weekend or something. Like that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Slow week, but go is carrying me. Uh, sales up, big money mo, of course. Uh, let me see, eBay failing, billion dominance, DFW, why would I do taxes? Exactly. Right. I hate stock yeah. access, Josh. Uh, <laughs> R&J sales are steady. Resale Freak, eBay, great for me. Resale Freak, been dominating. I, mean, I like his post, been posting some really good stuff. Uh, great sales out there. And uh, let me see, January all over was amazing. February, so-so this first week, mile high, which we know, we've seen. We've seen him sales. Uh, not of not lots of non-paying buyers on eBay, and uh, I'm happy with my one sale today. It says E Honda. All right, so I think Go has been doing good. StockX, okay. eBay wasn't bad. I think the last couple of days, but let's see. We got a short month this month too, so we got to bring your A game, get those sales up. All right, let's go to weekend releases tomorrow. Man. Man. Dunk High Cosmic Fuchsia 180. We can only hope. Already taking L's. We can only hope. That's <laughs> how I, that's how I say it the the day before, and then on the day you'll just see me flex when I win. <laughs> 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 it's just that relief, man. You know what I'm saying? Like the night before, you're like, oh man, you know, like yeah, like it's just like you're not confident at all. You're just like, oh man, the resale is gonna be good. And then, you know, you see that button, I mean, that loading thing, and then <laughs> you're in line, and then all of a sudden, that's, that's trash if you take that L. 
Yeah, so 180, we're, we're going to take the L's. I mean, we already know. <laughs> so Thursday, uh, that's tomorrow, 10 a.m. Uh, next one, Cardi B Reebok Club C Collection. <laughs> 80 $200 Friday, February 5th. And second delivery from Cardi B's partnership with Reebok. I'm going to bring Jake in here about Reeboks. What does he think about the Cardi B Reeboks? Let's see what the chat says. Ross trash for sure. Uh, let me see. Pass trash. Pass on Cardi. Trash. Man. 100 bucks. Pink, light pink, and whatever this is. I just wonder how much Glenn gets, uh, Glenn gets paid to show this trash. <laughs> I'm just going to get straight from the site. <laughs> 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 Looks like that's RBX. Why, that's, why, that's why StockX wants to get his uh, tax information. <laughs> they know he's plugged by the brands. For the brands. <laughs> uh, let me see. Swap me colorways. Uh, definitely not WAF. So this is yeah, this is out of control with these. So uh, no Cardi. Uh, Glenn, Glenn gets free Cardi B CDs. WAP quality. They feel like they're lubed up. Oh, those are non-slip. All right, so let's go to the next one. <laughs> what about Experimental Racer Pink Air Force One? Well, they still look lubed up. What's what's going on here, Clay? <laughs> <laughs> let's see. What do we think? One thirty comes out on Saturday for the Air Force Ones, and let's see what the bubble gum looks yeah, like. Cardi B two. Not just bubble gum, but chewed up bubble gum. Yeah, and like at this. Used bubble gum. These will be at the outlets for sure. Yeah, I want to see it in person. <laughs> uh, they I'm look like flesh. And <laughs> hey, watch this. I'm going to try and then watch this like shoot up or something like that. No, this. Anything that has this little N354, don't sell well. <laughs> I see, we see these all, all, all the time at the outlets. <laughs> Are you sure? This might be that one shoe. Hey, everyone, <laughs> we should try. Just, we'll make this shoe the GameStop stock. <laughs> go after the shoe and just fry side on StockX. Good luck on this one. Let's see. Patrick from SpongeBob. Pepto. Uh, let me see. $10 smooth selling. I want to make that deal. I could pay you now $10. Feed the bee. Oh, what's that? <laughs> He's making it public. That means Glenn hasn't said yes yet. Or he's I, sent, I sent him. Um, oh, because he wanted some. Yeah, he he wanted some shoes, so I need to okay. double check. But I did send him that I did have the size he wanted, so oh. we we'll, we'll work on it. Next one, Jordan Twelve Low Super Bowl. We did talk about this one. What week? Right, week right. Two weeks. Yeah, it's coming out Friday. Oh. Saturday. Oh, Saturday, Saturday, right, right. Yeah, one ninety, and like a so pretty much like a flu game low look alike yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, smash your pass in the chat. All I know is pretty limited, so um, only one store I think in Ohio is getting them. At least Foot Locker. Hmm. So uh, yeah, color Ohio, palette okay, matches both Ohio. teams. Look at Miles. The twelves are growing on me. Uh, no, that's what, Miles. Yeah, that's what everybody said. Trash at first, and then now it's limited. It's like, oh man, they're growing on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm copying. Uh, let no, me see. Cop, first, love these. The first time I've seen this, though, I said I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cop as many as I can. Oh, okay. Yeah. Watch it. Uh, come on, it's you know Tampa winning Super Bowl. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna wear this colorway too. <laughs> Let me see. I'm on the fence. Cop for resale. Linda asked, uh, "What do you do with a person with zero feedback and uh, transactions?" Well, if they're sending you an offer, then you should counter or you should decline and tell them, "Well, if you're interested in this price, I have repriced it, and make them buy it now." If they did buy it now, even though they have zero, I wouldn't worry about it. And I'm still. Proceed with the transaction. Um, yep, they do have 813 on them. Uh, Tampa area code. Mm. There you go, Patrick. Signature requirement. Next, the Jordan 5s. And me and B were talking about this. And so 
this photo actually shows more of like the color differences in here right the material too it's just a way it looks like a a uh a jordan three color blocking you know how like that toe box thing is different colorway mm -hmm. um or like a jordan one colorway right the heel is different and then the toe is different um but apparently this is limited apparently this All is right. very limited shoe um i i don't think uh foot locker anything any close to me like i think seven hour radius nobody's getting them <laughs> what yeah so um it's crazy i don't i don't know what's the story there's no story i think this is the reverse or something like that reverse. so reflective material usually reserved for the top of the tongue to the quarter panel and tongue bottom the rest is a mix uh black mesh and gray suede mm -hmm. so there you go I mean, yeah I, I look at a uh, nightwing's review on it it's pretty it the quality is there but it's just it's just there's no reason why they would I guess Raiders. <laughs> Raiders color right there. Raider Nation. <laughs> yeah. I guess you can do. Are you going to wait for the Oreo 5? No? Oreo look. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Koo Kick said, seems like Foot Locker got shipment issues on these. Other stores got them. Mm. So maybe that's what it is. That's what. Yep. Yeah, probably. I mean, they couldn't afford to push this back, probably. Yeah. So it might just surprisingly show up on your local stores. You know, past the release date. Uh, retro fives don't seem to sell that well. That is true. The black part is kind of nylon, uh, kind of like similar to the Starfish Four, and okay. then the uh, the gray part is supposed to be is suede. suede, supposed to be reflective, Glenn. Oh, that's right. Yeah, reflective material. Yeah. So I guess we'll see uh, which two, uh, which one or what stores got them. Yeah. And uh, see who picks these up. See if they're rare or not. Yeah, Magnetic Soul says put an off-white tag in it, it would go up. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. That's all you got to do. Uh, we got 220 for the NMD. Trash. I've been a victim of it already. <laughs> I finally <laughs> sold my NMD and took like a $30 loss. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a triple black too. You don't want to wait five years for it to break even <laughs> so when pharrell what like buys uh nba team and becomes a champion or something like that it has to be some awesome story it has to be some crazy story or pharrell runs for president <laughs> something yeah. has to happen yeah looks like toilet water uh look super limited on those caught for personal heard there's only 450 pairs <laughs> i could care less <laughs> 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 so you're pretty much telling them they should have made even less. Yeah, yeah, Gandalf for this. <laughs> <laughs> Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. 250 pairs, 220. Wow. Yeah, Man. right. Like, how would you make that limited for? I don't know. They're whack. Rails whack. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's the last twenty. That was our last one. <laughs> All right. So power rankings. Let's go. Last week. Of course, DDs, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, Ross at two, Burlington still on top, and uh, five gold stars. Yep, with the Robo Dog. I did see that. Okay, so the, we did get a DDs discounts tag. Uh, Mile High Hustle found this uh, retro kicks, very look alike, but not official. Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Only DDs can do this. Basically Fugazi. <laughs> Pretty much. Now in the chat, would you rock this? That's the question. B, you can go first. Oh, I rock it. It's a cool shirt. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, just remove DDs off the rankings. <laughs> heck yeah. Oh, heck not, says Dominic. <laughs> We're in Sports LA. What's up? Yeah, that's a cool shirt, though. I mean, but like, eh. oh, they probably didn't even use the Jordan logo in it, huh? No, they didn't. That's why uh, they don't want to get in trouble. They know what they're doing. Oh, that's I mean, look at the Jordan one. There's not even a swoosh in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, they don't, they don't want to push it. Yeah, it looks like RBX. 
Uh, see, yeah, no Nike logos. Yeah. Uh, yeah I'd if it was Jordan. <laughs> yeah, if it was like if you had branding on it, uh, the Jordan logo, that'd be cool. It'd be a cool shoe. A uh, cool shirt. Uh, my high says it's for sale. Oh, <laughs> there you go. All right, next TJ Maxx. Man, more of these Mighty Duck jerseys. Seventeen dollars too. Racks full of them. Not even just like you know, a couple of them sprinkled here and there. Let's just take ten at a time. Uh, today we flip. So congrats on that one. Man. Hashtag Ducks fly together. <laughs> Uh, let me see. Yeah, we got more of the uh, New Balance. Man, a bunch of New Balance in here. R and J Funky Finds. I don't know the sizes or what the price was. I couldn't really tell on there. I think it was uh, 30, 40, 40 40 bucks. Yeah. Would you Would you have bought them all, Glenn? I don't even know what the what the sizes are or anything. I, I have mean, to still do the research. For human size. I have to do the research on them. Like nine to, I have to check comps. That, oh, that, oh, that's what the videos taught me. See, man, you watch Hustler Hacks, man. <laughs> you definitely watch Hustler Hacks. But yeah, um, knowing, knowing, because I've done my research before, Glenn. Oh, okay. Or buy all any nine ninety, any New Balance nine ninety dad shoe, you know, you just gotta buy them all, buy them all. Uh, Big Money Mo has spoken. He says buy them all. It's the copper resell for sure on Mighty Ducks. I've heard oh. people are passing on twenty dollar NHL jerseys. What's wrong with you people? <laughs> wow, hi. All right, breaks. Put on the breaks. RJ Funky finds at eleven and a half and thirteen. Oh, but women's. oh and <laughs> women's. Yeah, well, I saw this. I was like, well, these have to be in women's section. All right, so they're not human size. They're not human women's. <laughs> <laughs> Super cop, don't find. Let's see. Pull the trigger, then ask the questions. Oh, <laughs> Round on fines. Don't do that. Uh, more jerseys. Seventeen dollar jerseys. Uh, Minnesota Wild from Scuba. Got these district deals. This is oh, this is Marshall. Sorry. Uh, we got the mids. We got what fifty dollars wow. for them. Uh, black and gold. Seventy dollars for the new balance. Um, and then we also got the Ralph Lauren jacket retail $3,500. They're uh, it's selling, it says consistently for $1,400. And eight sneaker finds paid $765. What do you think, B? I mean, just we're going big, keep the receipt. <laughs> 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 I, I, I would I would definitely try it. I mean, and I would cross this it to Poshmark, uh, to and you know, just ensure the package with signature confirmation and fingers crossed. I mean, that's a nice jacket. I yeah. mean, it has different photos in there. You can definitely look at that. Like, that's yeah, a nice jacket. I mean, those are probably some real fur too. You know, like so probably some rabbit or some moose fur or something like that. Let me see. Keep the keep an email receipt option. Oh, Cutter uh, says risky. Or just Man. take a photo of the receipt. That's what I do. All right, next one. All right, let's go to Ross. Uh, just in time, Chief Super Bowl stuff. Jay Minaj, oh. a long sleeve shirt. Uh, Spiz Ike, they are kids, forty dollars, and some of the Air Force One Gore Tex popping up. Moonzy. 65 bucks, and I don't know the price on that one. Man, why are they pricing it too high? <laughs> 65. Uh, let's see. We also got AK Rowdy Resellers and Dapper Fanatic and 309 Finds. We got the Padded. Um, and then Sun City Hustle with the all LeBron custom athlete pants. And they were a dollar. You know what? Same thing for AK Rowdy. The padded ones we've been buying, a dollar. How so that, I, I don't know, mistagged or is this, is instead that, of 10, they just went dollar. Is it a higher quality than the NBA one? Or the, the ones that you've been finding? Is no, that, these are the same ones. So Dapper Fanatic, AK Rowdy, same one. Uh, this one right here is the like LeBron custom one. Okay, okay. Yeah, probably like 2XL long or something, right? Well, it's like, I guess it's, well, it's custom to him, so I don't yeah. know. Yeah, so as I mean, yeah, six eight guy, you gotta find <laughs> six eight dude. Yeah, Caroline, what's up? 
Uh, let's see. I think what else? I've seen. I did. I did get the Westbrook one, and um, yeah, it's just kind of weird because since it's custom to the athlete, no one can really kind of like. It's a cool piece, but no one can really like relate to it and wear it, so it's kind of weird. Yeah, you'd um, have to, you'd have to measure it. Uh, let me see. How many MB pants have you sold? I sold two because one guy wanted a, a combo. And then he emailed me or sent me a message after that. He's like, I haven't gotten these yet, but can I return them? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? He's like, I don't know if they're going to fit me or not. And I'm like, Dude, you haven't I haven't even gotten them yet. Clown. <laughs> uh, 309 finds with the Harley stuff out there, too. We know Harley Davidson sells well. And some of the curries out there. I think this might be the sample curries. Let's keep going. MC Incorporated a mile high with the Kobe D's KS reselling uh, forty five dollars. Might be I think the kids, maybe not kids, maybe just small men's uh, Air Max Plus Eddie, also Kobe D. Man, the black colorway too. All right, let me see. So some of the Vince Carter shocks out there. I did see them today as well. Yeah, sixty five, right? Uh, fifty six dollars random oh. price, <laughs> or fifty seven dollars. And I did see my size, and I was very tempted. But the truth is, I have the black and silver one, and I haven't even worn them yet. And I'm like, what am I doing, getting another pair in a different color if I haven't even worn the ones I have? Yeah, and the the white one is not that cool looking. It isn't compared to the other one. But. Yeah, the black and uh, the. The silver and red, the Toronto colorway. Yeah, or the OG, I guess. Uh, Vince blue, Carter, blue, right? The blue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, uh, 270 kids, five and a half. And uh, Faith Lopez, $45. Sneakerhead, I uh, got the Kyrie's, couple of pairs, Kobe D's, and Curry's in the cart. All right, here we go with the jerseys now in the chat. Smash or pass on the hockey jerseys. And we've seen the same ones, the same teams. Red Wings. I haven't seen the Avalanche one, though, actually. Uh, I did see Flyers. The Vegas, see Vegas Knights. There's a no, bunch of the Vegas, Vegas ones. The most. But here's pretty much the slide of the jerseys we've all found out there. Islanders. This Oiler one's the same player. Ovechkin one I would definitely pick up. Uh, Scuba did find the Red Wings. So they're all $15. Some people have been passing. Some people are like, dude, this thing's going to get over flooded. I don't know if I want to wait that long. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So it's up to you. But I'm asking you in the chat. So this chat. is the authentic. This is like the most expensive, right? The $250 sale. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man, I would buy them all. You buy them all? 15 buy bucks. Yeah, as long as they're like medium to XL sizing, I buy them all. And I think if, Yeah, if you're not if you're not buying it, let me know. Let us know. We'll buy it. Uh sold two of the McDavid says resell freak. McDavid, yes, from Linda. And uh, let me see Blackhawks Kings Night sell well. Sold my oldest jersey for a hundred in one day of listing. There we go. Uh smash with the fight strap. So yes, it does have that included. When it's dry, you buy, says E. Honda. What'd you say about fight strap? That it is included, so it's in the back. Oh, the, you okay. can see it there. Well, you can't see it on the photo in here, but you'd have to turn it inside out. You can see it in there. Oh, smash cool. all day can hold for a while. I mean, that's the thing though, is like 15 bucks. Like, yeah, anything under 20 bucks, you know, like you're literally paying it, you're buying a, an item for under 10% its value. <laughs> yeah. that's automatic i don't care if i hold two three years that's better than investing in gamestop <laughs> <laughs> that <Yeah. crashed>. <laughs> <laughs> too but. cheap to not pick up and amazon is a move for this at 15 why would you pass 15 for rocking them and it's a no-brainer ak rowdy so there yeah. we go oh, there's should. more of them and be patient oh here we go look here's here's the main ones Kicks in games, Indy finds, and three and the three Red Wings and two of the Islanders in there. All right, next. Oh wait, we're not done. There's more of them. Man, MC Incorporated, Brian, no, and Indy finds. 
how's the Red Wings doing? Are they doing pretty good? I knew. I mean, back in the day, they were good. Recently, have been they, they have they done anything? I have no clue. Okay, but I mean, they are. I mean, anything Detroit? How well can they do? Just well, kidding. no, Detroit used to be really good. Was I know back in the day, but I guess because of the poor Lions. I mean, ow. <laughs> <laughs> this is trash. I mean, I have, I have more hopes than their in their NBA team than their football team. Even the Pistons. Yeah, they're better than the Lions. <laughs> uh, Red Wings have a wider customer basis. There we go. Last place right now says Mile High. They're the worst team in the league, says Mark. Oh, crap! <laughs> they're on sale. <laughs> hey, no, I mean, new seasons they'll drop a few good players. Yeah, they'll, they'll get back into it. Yeah. See, Bam 24 Cakes, Jordan Jackets out there, two of them. Um, I did see this one out there. It's pretty cool, but uh, I don't know. They're they're kind of big, though, even for like a small and medium. They're like pretty huge. Some of the curry samples are incorporated. Yeah, uh, three of them. And then Chai Stinger Deals. And we got uh, different colors out there. Like a Oregon Ducks. $43. Curry samples. How well are the samples selling in the chat? Let me know. I mean, this is probably the best uh, performance under Armour shoe anyway. Very true. Corey Jones, Eddie. Uh, let's see. Faith Lopez and Desert Finds. Yeah, a bunch of these curries out there. Uh, big sizes. I did see these out there as well. And only like a size 17 or 18 or something. Uh, let's see. You've got 720, MRX 95s and more. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, good pickup right here. See, fifty-seven dollars at random price. I saw that Eddie. Um, let me see on here. They are two hundred and up, depend on the color. Says Richard. So pretty good. Uh, Stealthy finds with a bunch of the Jordan Eight and uh, thirty-five dollars. Kids, Mao Dog killing it. Look at all these Vapor Max. And I think, yeah, these are kids too, but. I mean, flying it, all this. I mean, good probably stuff in here. Thirty nine ninety nine, right? Yeah, probably thirty nine, maybe forty four max. Yeah, I would definitely pick these up. Yeah, got fifty dollars on that one though. Mamo Dog also, uh, Paper Max ninety seven, and Desert Finds. We got ninety eights, ninety sevens, uh, the Freak One, Converse shorts, two seventies, and more. So a jersey. I mean, it's like a variety right there. Yeah, a little variety pack. Let me see. Nice. Oh, yeah. $50. Oh, $50 says Mama Dog on all of them. Oh. So, well. Well, you're still going to make good ass money on them, but I still. Mean, paper Maxis. But still, I guess the 39 is what we know and love. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, let me see. Scuba, JT Resells, LeBron's, 97s, 270s, Texas Flips. Also, almost the same colors of the same Vapor Max. That Mamo Dog had uh, more of the Jordan 8s, Curry's, 97s, Kobe AD, and some of the cleats out there. Scuba picking these up on clearance. So. Man, that's crazy. Not, I mean, like, this is giving me hope. Ross, Ross is looking a lot better now. Yeah. So we're going on to Burlington. Now, now Ross, look. now look, I did see a post today. I did respond to that post from ross ross will be number one next week i just saw the post today i don't have enough time to throw it in here <laughs> ross will be number one next week i guarantee it if you don't know what i'm talking about yeah they'll tell mr. you in the chat mr one off solidified himself he's still one off mr one off he find he's been i mean like for a record probably like the what the last three years Glenn? i mean ever since i started don alpha queen finds the rarest items Mm -hmm. You know, like one thing I can tell, like the guy's definitely has an eye and he's very picky on what he's buying. And very consistent. I mean, he's yeah. like you said, he's been doing it for like just straight three years plus just the one off. But that's what I like about Ross one offs is like, oh, well, like that. If you can find not b besides the off white stuff, the rare stuff that you like you were saying oh, before, yeah. it's like you never know like what's what's out there. Well, I like his page because it kind of like gives you an inspiration that there's hope out there. You yeah. know, he finds those one-offs. Like, and then like, that's what he highlights the most. So it's pretty cool. 
Yeah. So yeah, the Ross will be definitely um, number one next week. This is the best come from DC district deals. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Exactly. That's why the precedents are there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Still kicking sports. Uh, he's he's picking up those. You know what? I saw them mark down at Burlington. Oh crap! Did you buy off? <laughs> no, did I buy all? I think they were got they got marked down to dollar ninety nine, dollar fifty. I don't remember. It wasn't like a huge sale or anything, but they did have the Butterfinger. Was the only one that was marked down. None of the all other. Right, ones. All right. So, uh, my high. I mean, said, can we do a poll? I really want to know which popcorn is the best: Oreo, Butterfinger, Twix, Snickers, or uh, Mrs. Fields. We've had them. Oh, Chips I never tried that one. Chips Ahoy, right? I think. Yeah, Chips, Chips Ahoy is one. M and M's. Yeah, yeah, Chips I, Ahoy, Twix, M and M's. Oh, M and M's too, right? Uh, I, yeah, I, I Oreo, I, Oreo for for sure. You like Oreo? Oreo? Yeah. I mean, my favorite is the uh, Snickers and Butterfinger. Yeah. Well. Okay. Hold on. Let me go back. No, no, no. Oreo is still number one. You like Oreo. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm an Oreo. I'm an Oreo. Anyway. Snickers was good. Yeah, Snickers. I like Snickers. Is like, like I want to eat it when like I just want to be messy because it just melts <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> just, put on, just put on a big bib. Yeah. And just put a I remember, like I remember wiping those fingers on the car rental we had. <laughs> <laughs> eat it and wipe it on the cloth seats. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Uh, any snacks today, B? Uh, oh, exclusively from Raw, straight from Hawaii. Oh, uh, dang. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, let me see if there's any left. Okay, let me see if we <laughs> see if there's any left. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of, I, yeah, I just munched on this last night. So, thanks for the reminder. But yeah, this thing, this one's legit. Hawaiian uh, clearance? Macadamia. Macadamia chocolates. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Lady Gaga Oreos. I did see that. I don't know if I trust them, though. Um, like pink and green. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, let's go to Burlington stuff, which still nonstop heat out there. Uh, $40 Nike jacket, retail $140, Furious Flipper. Uh, we got the zip up NSW. We got uh, AK Rowdy. Uh, Real Deal Thrifter also retail two twenty five on this jacket, and uh, we also got the uh, Tri Seeker deals with some of the Elite sleeves, Warriors and Lakers champs. Lady Gaga Orioles flip on eBay. People have been wanting them. Mile High Hustle, Stranger Things we got the Blazers fifty dollars. Ron twenty three sells foamies. Ooh. Don't know the price though. And of course, the cleats. Uh, Furious Flipper, Gore Tex on the Air Force One. Also got cleats, oh, Paper no. Max, $40, 35 on the up tempo for kids. And the gem also got these ones. Gore Tex a sleeper right there, 180 bucks. What, this? Gore Tex. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is money right here. Uh, even for 70, that's all day. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Mile High said, look at that perspective. Man, this guy, you know, even has a nice photography skills in this in store. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next one. LeBron time, Mr. Mormo. Fifteen dollars for the LeBrons. That's probably like an angry worker. No, is that the right one though? It says Zeke or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously it's mistagged, but that's what I'm saying. Like some uh, worker was like Probably put that in there, and I was like, I'll pick this up after my shift. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mormo just came by. I was like, yoink. <laughs> Got him. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of employees, where's Puma Hustler? He better not be working tonight. <laughs> they finally put him to work. I don't like that. Really? Burlington's going to send him like a sick 1099. <laughs> <laughs> it's not it's not gonna be by the wage but it's with the how much discount he got yeah <laughs> I get charge of this guy 
Uh, thirty-five dollars. Sneaker finds twelve. Also, on the LeBrons. What size is that? Size seventeen. Also, mark uh, mistagged or something because thirty-five dollars, cheap. And then the LeBron low sixty dollars, uh, for the uh, Philippines. All right, next one more LeBrons. Sneaker finds twelve. JT resells. Also got the Kyrie's in there and Brian also with the Air Max nineties. Uh, super clean. Uh, keep going. Cleats all around. Flip the script. KS reselling. Price Assassins. Vapor 360 Elite. Activate Hustle Mode. Ohio State on there. It's pretty cool. I haven't seen that one. Small size, though. That's what he said. All right. Of course, the uh, ice cream, the Reebok, $30. Um, and the lady section says four and a half, and it looks like six and a half, three and a half, I believe. Uh, so Josh and One Kick Finder. I wonder how well they're selling, people that picked them up. At least they got the keychain on there, too. Uh, Thread Kicks also with the Hulks, and uh, Chamo also with the Kyrie size seven and $40. Uh, KD's. B car sneak finds and WB sneaker finds AK Rowdy with the KDs and Brian with the kids up tempos. Don't know the price or the size. And let me see what does the chat say? Saw three pairs of the ice cream and passed Kobe Goat. Uh, saw six and a half left behind. Uh, where is Stevie D? Say baby. Good question. Uh, pass on those ice creams too. Comps were low, says Chance. Uh -oh. Nice. Somebody looked up the comps. Good job. Somebody <laughs> looked up the comps. Uh, next one. Kick not bricks. And mark down mistag $8 for the Jordan Golf. Willie Will. And these are sick. So Willie Will got these. Mamo Dog, $30. Also got the UNC Element. And Price Assassins with the Tie-Dye, 97 Golf. Yeah, good money. Great money, actually, all around in all four of these photos, all four of these tags. And um, he sold those golf uh, for 120 in two days. Mile high hustle. Let um, see, gold tie dye sell for 200 plus from Chance. So, yeah, good stuff. Next, Cartful Ecom Lifestyle. We bought a couple pairs here, the PG All-Star, some Kyrie's, and cleared out the activewear section. Mm. And then uh, Richard, look at those Vapor Max. Uh, Vapor two. Max Plus. And the uh, Freak One, $50. And then Furious Flipper with the boots out there. And Ecom Lifestyle again with the Jordans, the LeBrons, and more. Kyrie's. Let's see, yeah, Vapor Max Plus are money. And let me see. I'm going to go back up on here. Yeah, these are nice. Uh, the good stuff here, though, too. Ecom Lifestyle and the LeBrons. And UConn. the cards. It's in that Yukon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought one, a size 18. I don't know what I was thinking. I was probably hungry that day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more car finds, Edgar's finds, and Desert finds, 702, Bam 24 Kicks. Uh, and Richard again had a video on here, but like good stuff on here. A couple of pairs of the LeBrons and more. Uh, Edgar's finds. We got some of the legacy. We got the Jordan 13 uh, baseball. We got the Air Force One, the 90s. We got the Rafa's out here, Desert Finds, and see some of the cleats as well. Uh, Red Wing boots for 24 kicks. Man, how much are the Red Wing boots in your area? Uh, looks like they're sixty. I think I've seen them for seventy nine in mine. Mm. I'm not really too familiar, which is like the high end or something like that. So I have to like probably study my Red Wing because I've been seeing a lot of people uh, pick them up. Of course, Miles bringing the heat and good size too, size thirteen. Oh wow, Those Griffey Dunks. So man, fifty bucks, easy money. Uh, sourcing code also good finds. We got the Jordans. We even got the uh, the Paris forty five dollars. What size? 
uh, I can't really say, I think six and a half, maybe. Bojo 20 and AK yeah. Rowdy also with the ones out there. Size yeah, more you. Griffey dunks as Koo Kicks. I know. Yeah, this is a sick shoe. I like that one. 50 bucks. That's Hustler Hot colorway too. You should get one. That's true. <laughs> uh, there we go. Price Assassins. We talked about this <laughs> I, one as well. Size 35. And then, <laughs> I knew he was going to do it. <laughs> Look at his head. <laughs> <laughs> and we got Parco Kicks. $40 in the fours. Texas Flip. Uh, $90 for these. For the threes, uh, Animal Instinct, and also Jordan 13s, the the green ones are already out there at Burlington. People finding these. Mile size 40, laugh out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about this slide for a little bit. $100, which we know people have been finding these great money. You're going to pick them up. doesn't matter what size. See, like Desert Rat, right? Is that what I said? The color? I think so. Something like yeah. that. Oh, Stevie D. He's here in the house. Hey, baby. And Jordan 11s, Bread 11s, $90 in a size three and a half in men's. Yo, that, hands down, is money. I got my hands on a size six men's and i think i sold it for like 485 or close to 495 that so one three and a half that's interesting i mean because the the weird sizes do sell yeah but because, because especially with the jordan 11s the desirable silhouette is the men's it's got that round toe it's not the flat toe very true that is true so, so yeah, it still is a three and a half in Y in grade school, but it is retailed as men's. Uh, it has a higher retail, but the build quality is like the men's. And uh, but yeah, so some kids gonna look fly. So I would highly recommend just selling this on goat for like, I would put it for five seventy five something like that. Somebody's gonna uh buy it. Well, brand new with box on StockX right now, and a size three and a half is three fifty. Oh, not not that great. Uh, I thought it was that crazy, huh? Maybe it's just too small. Yeah, maybe it's just because what that looks yeah. like three and a half. Man, it wouldn't even fit my wife. My wife wears five. <laughs> yeah, and of course, big money mo. Of course, has to do big money things. Right, I'm just chilling here. Yeah, it's not even the what was the other one the, the strap. I mean, like the right the laceless looking one. This is the uh, one, right. This yeah, is this, the X, right? Like yeah. the X, that X thing. Yeah, someone I think someone left a comment on Big Money Mall was like, "You could at least work on your captions." <laughs> I'm like, dude, look at these fines. Who cares about the caption? Yeah, it's too busy. <laughs> it's too busy for captions. <laughs> out of here <laughs> man, all right man. so power rankings burlington ross marshall's tj max and dds all right giveaway who's ready giveaway time get you your that. letters and numbers ready a one two b oh yeah 210 watching baker brand hit that like button baker brand doesn't have to tell you 100 times right 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 he shouldn't have to He's only one man. Giveaway. Are you ready? Man, look these, these an <laughs> look at this guy. Answers are right in. Like A C one two ten X Y Z. Glenn's been making it too difficult. <laughs> okay, here we go. According to this photo, what shoe is this? <laughs> what? <laughs> What it shoe is it supposed to be? Oh, I can't believe nobody has said anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> but a Jordan oh. 2 what? I need to know what color this is. What colorway? Yeah, we know it's a 2. I mean, look, it's 1, 2, and 3. But what color is this? No, it's not, it's not red. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yep. Okay, let me go back. I know someone got it in here. Yeah, I think too legit got it. 
Okay, let me check. Uh, Jordan 2, Jordan 2, Jordan 2. Pags says infrared 2. Yeah. Will we accept that? Yeah. Infrared 2. Infrared 2 is what it's supposed to be and supposed to look like. So that, that, was, that was your easy money question. Try to mix it up a little bit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so Pags. Everybody was uh, was looking at comps already. <laughs> <laughs> comps. <laughs> so Pags and Kratz, you have one. I don't know anything about the twos, yourself, freak. And that was our, uh, yeah, that was the the first answer I saw in there. So congrats, man. Hour goes by quick. And we are done. Next week, we know we're going to have some... I have a feeling, too, though. Ross has been having some random one-offs. So there is hope on there. After seeing... I mean, probably not anything off-white. Give it a shot. But there seems like there's other random things here and there that don't really make sense. So I've been seeing a lot of one-offs Air Force One. So who knows? This week might be good. Double check. See what Ross has going on. All right, we are done. And tomorrow, so here's the thing. Thursdays, I did the East Bay video last week. Not a lot of people watched it, but the people that did watch it did like it. I appreciate that. Even people in person that I saw was like, oh, man, that was dope. I remember that one, blah, blah, blah. Tomorrow, same thing. I have Throwback Thursday, East Bay and this is from 2004. Older than B. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's why I had to call my dad. Like, hey, dad, do you remember this? <laughs> so that one will be tomorrow. And then Friday, we'll have Ross Fans of the Week as normal. So we'll see you guys. Appreciate it. Hanging out on a Wednesday. And we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow's video. So.